Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Alan G. White The New Birth, March 26th Jesus answered and said unto him, Very, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3, verse 3 The claim that Christ, by his death, abolished his father's law is without foundation. Had it been possible for the law to be changed or set aside, then Christ need not have died to save us from the penalty of sin. The death of Christ, so far as abolishing the law, proves it is immutable. The law of God, from its very nature, is unchangeable. It is a revelation of the will and the character of its author. God is love and his law is love. Its two great principles are love to God and love to man. Love is fulfilling the law. Romans chapter 13 verse 10. The character of God is righteous and truth. Righteousness and truth. Such is the nature of his law. Says the psalmist, Thy law is truth. All thy commandments are righteousness. Psalms 119 verse 142 verse 172. And the apostle Paul declares, The law is holy and the commandments holy and just and good. Romans chapter 7 verse 12. Such a law, being an expression of the mind of and will of God, must be as enduring as its author. It is the work of conviction, conversion sorry, and sanctification to reconcile men to God by bringing them into accordance with his principles of the law. In the beginning, man was created in the image of God. They were in perfect harmony with the nature and law of God. The principle of righteousness were written upon their heart, but sin alienated them from their maker. They no longer reflected the divine image. Their hearts were at war with the principle of God's law. The carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Romans chapter 7 verse 8 But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that we might be reconciled to God. Through the merits of Christ, we can be restored to harmony with our Maker. Our hearts must be renewed by divine grace. We must have a new life above, from above. This change is the new birth, without which, says Jesus, we cannot see the kingdom of God. The first step in, in reconciliation to God is the conviction of sin. Sin is the transgression of the law. By the law is the knowledge of sin. 1 John chapter 3 verse 4 and Romans chapter 3 verse 20. In order to see their guilt, sinners must test their character by God's great standard of righteousness. It is a mirror which shows the perfection of, the righteous, of a righteous character and enables them to discern the defects in their own. Homeward Bound, 